you picked health, and you know what? You're becoming a nurse anyway, so like, it's on brand. That's crazy. It's on brand. <laughs> it's on brand. You're becoming a nurse? Like, yeah. health questions Health questions just make sense. It, they match. Oh my god. They match. How do baby walkers teach a baby to walk sooner? Bro, well, how the fuck am I? Um, because you're, you're using your nurse. <laughs> you're <laughs> using <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy question. I'm not a pediatrician. Uh, probably because you're using their muscles more, <laughs> so they're more used to it. It's like anything, like with sport, you have to condition your body to do an action. Are you gonna hold the baby all the time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Most practical way to not to do your life without. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to fish too, you know. We're fishing. We're fishing. Might be slaying. Eventually. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> We're not talking about that title. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> These are not the questions I was expecting. I know. You did not pull up a baby on this chat after I got condemned for hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So baby walkers do not teach a baby to walk and in fact delay the development of oh the my baby's God, that's motor crazy. skills. Oh my That's god. Crazy. It Wait, acts as a crutch. It acts as a crutch, denying the baby. Denying the baby. Oh, the opportunity to develop leg muscles and coordination on their own. That's crazy. What? Damn. There's literal there's a literal study that just says it significantly impacts them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's why you don't listen to me. The person with the propeller head. <laughs> Well, now we know. I always thought they were actually kind of useful. But... No, I thought they were helpful because, like, you can cook while the baby fucks around and they're <laughs> walker. That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> well, if the baby falls, you're gonna hear it because you're gonna hear the whole thing crash. You know what? That's true. Do vaccines <laughs> cause autism? This. <laughs> Bro, what in the conspiracy theory is that? Hmm, yes, we, if you get a vaccine, what well, that calls autism. Oh my god. I think this is the parent now. Yeah. I, I don't... Please vaccine your children. Yeah, vaccines Oh my god, because the numbers are getting lower and it's like... There's a reason why the collective majority has to be vaccinated. Literally. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. And if they don't, we lose herd immunity. So it's like, Exactly. Uh, what's the point of us getting vaccines if, if there isn't there's enough people else. to have it? Exactly. <laughs> vaccines don't cause autism. Yeah. Vaccines. <laughs> I, I hope I know that. <laughs> <laughs> How do antibiotics kill viruses? Hmm. Oh my fucking god. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know because it's in the name. I was gonna say they don't. Well, actually, no, wait, it's an antibiotic, you're exactly, right. Exactly, because viruses can't be Virus uh, attacked by antibiotics. Well, at least, like, the vast majority. There's a few cases where they do, but... A few. It's only bacterial yeah. infections. That... Yeah, because it's biotic. Exactly, living. yeah. Viruses need cells to live. See, this is why we need to listen much. to you. The person with the propeller. No, head. no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. This is not how we're turning the conversation. <laughs> how much... <laughs> this is a crazy question. How much extra radiation am I exposed to if I stick my hand in the microwave right after it turns off? Bro, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Come on. Your answer. Your answer, not me. I don't know. Um... I don't Do they think... expect to experience Chernobyl if you stick your hand in the microwave? Exactly, like what? I don't know if there's extra radiation, but there's not gonna harm you. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> I would have to say I don't think there is enough I don't think, radiation. Yeah. Right? Well, I stuck my yeah, hand in the microwave. Like... <laughs> Wait too many yeah, times. right after it's done. I mean, I think I'd die if that was the case. No, exactly. Like, and, what are they talking by about? By that logic, my food should also be contaminated. <laughs> Literally. It's not like it's a tanning bed and there's UV rays attacking, like, someone's skin. <laughs> my food. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way this is gonna be. Why should, why should it be like, oh, you have radiation? 
you're exposed to less radiation if you stick your hand in properly, in a properly functioning microwave right after it turns off. The microwaves emitted by microwave oven are not harmful beyond their ability to heat you, since they're non-ionizing. Yeah, yeah, I'd hope so. <laughs> or else the whole point of it is stupid. How long can you Here. wait after dropping food on the ground to eat it without having germs attached? Some say oh, it's I a five-second rule, others say it's a... The five-second mm. rule does not exist. Exactly, like once it's touched a germ. Once it's on there, it's already touching things. Yeah. It's but a... <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh my god. I hate this suggestion. Of course it's, <laughs> of course it's gonna be germs. Exactly. Five-second rule are for people who still want to eat it after, without yeah. feeling guilty. And there's nothing wrong with it. You're not gonna die. Yeah. The yeah. mouth is like the dirtiest part of the body anyway. I'll just be wrong. No, I'm kidding. Let's There's see, no let's way. See. There's let's no see. way. Yeah, it says germs immediately attach to food dropped on the floor. They don't have to wait five seconds to do anything. Well, so it'd be real, that'd be a really weird property of science for it to do so. We're not going to touch you until five seconds later. Exactly. It'd be like, okay, we're <laughs> like, you're immune to everything for yeah. five seconds. Five seconds. When someone's heart skips a beat, <laughs> what is wrong with the heart? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. That's crazy. Who's asking these questions? <laughs> I think these are like more like misconception questions. It's just science questions with surprising answers. So I wonder. Are they just, are they just asking about like palpations? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, hmm. Uh, not the seminary. What's wrong with the heart? Really What's wrong with the heart? <laughs> it's just an imbalance of your electrical impulses, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, when what? my heart skips a beat, does that mean my artery is broken? Like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see what they say. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Oh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> You're probably right, because, like, <laughs> what else would it be? <laughs> when my heart skips a beat, my tummy does the thing. It's called <laughs> kidney failure. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's most likely nothing wrong with the heart. <laughs> like, a, I hope not. <laughs> a person's heart that frequently skips beats should talk to a doctor. The skipping a beat or suddenly pounding or throbbing is called palpitations. Perfectly healthy people have palpitations a few times in their life. Exactly. Yeah. This was crazy. This was crazy. Okay. Okay. What is it? I want you to take a guess. I want you to take a guess. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one word, and I just want you to guess the rest of it. Okay. Chocolate. Can I feed chocolate to a dog? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. Uh, also, um, damn, chocolate to a dog is crazy. I wasn't expecting that. I thought, I thought that was gonna be the question because I was like, huh? It's why like, does chocolate? Like, why does chocolate taste good? I don't know. No. It's, it's I'll tell like you. You're not gonna get it. Yeah. You're not gonna get it. Yeah. Why does chocolate? Cause acne. Does it even cause? Well, I know if you have like obviously a bad diet that contributes to it, but I'm guessing what? sugar, maybe. A sugar, right? I yeah, feel sugar like sugar causes causes breakouts, doesn't it? Or like excess sugar. Yeah, yeah, excess sugar. So unless you're eating like 20 pounds of chocolate, unless I don't. Unless you're like Billy different. from those math problems and eating 30 chocolate bars in an hour, I think you'll be okay. That's crazy. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> No, but this question. No, but you know what I mean when I say those math questions, bro. Like, I, Billy does not <laughs> need to eat thirty chocolate bars. I'm if I'm if I'm gonna be honest, I thought the question was gonna be like, um, why does chocolate incite a sexual desire in me or something? Because like chocolate's like romance. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad chocolate guess. oysters or. I thought that was gonna be the question people ask. Yeah, I wasn't like, expecting the acne either, but <laughs> let's see what they say. <laughs> Chocolate does not cause acne. Acne is caused yeah. by overactive sebaceous glands. Oh no, my mortal emesis. One Should chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cause my doom. So literally like, oh my god. Oh, I hate this one. Why don't dark- Oh! Ooh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Why don't dark-skinned people get sunbirds? <laughs> I, I hate to be the bearer of bad oh. news. But people who oh are God. darker skin tones can get sunburned and can get skin cancer. Skin the cancer. sun doesn't discriminate. Do they, do, they, do they think you're just automatically like devoid 
of having some people do think that. Hair. Some people think that. I, just, I, you know, even people who are darker skin think they can't get like sunburns or or skin cancer. Oh. Even in um like first aid, like when you look at burns on skin, it's so different, and it's only like shown on uh people with lighter um, skin tones. Lighter um, skin tones, yeah, because like. Obviously, you can get sunburn if you're yeah. not melanated. You I, I'd hope so. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> Hold on to the other one. Okay. <sighs> what? That's a crazy. I know. Crazy. Yeah, let's see what their answer is. Watch this be wrong. <laughs> like. No way. There's no way. Yeah, dark skinned people can get. Dark skinned people do get sunburns. While it's true that higher pigment levels that make certain people's skin look dark help protect against sunlight the pigments do not block 100 percent of the light yeah exactly right Ugh. that's impossible <laughs> literally it's also the reason why so many people darker skinned people do get like melanoma and stuff because they don't wear sunscreen they don't check it they don't check it out I yeah Ooh. okay i i want to know your answer for this one what is the most harmful pseudoscience i think i already know what i'm about to say Astrology. <laughs> I feel like that's what you're gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be. I don't know what the most harmful is. Do you want me to like list off like a few? Yeah. I don't know which one would be the most harmful one. Like astrology, of course, is one of them. Yeah. Um you know oh, ooh, ooh, I'm thinking of uh what is it called? Like the face what? reading, the face reading signs, where um certain like facial features of you determine oh, your like, oh, like the, luck the and superstitious. wealth. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, in China, I'm I'm trying to remember the name of it. No, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. I've seen that one before. Where it's like, if you have a mole on this side of your face, <laughs> yeah. you're access to this amount of wealth. Yeah, I I agree. Is this pseudoscience? Like you know this like. There's like a really what? Like it's like a cult, I think. <laughs> a cult. But it's like it's a rich people cult. It's like Scientology, I think. Is that a pseudoscience? That's a cult. That... That's a cult. That's just a cult in general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They okay. have like a lizard god and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. Great. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I feel like the face one is more damaging because I feel like people can find sarcasm in astrology but i guess some people people literally break up with their partners over astrology so i was think that's mercury retrograde i swear that's what it's called right yeah, it's it's like, mercury be careful guys it's a mercury retrograde homeopathy do with this one what is that oh <laughs> oh oh like um Wow, I really can't think of words anymore. This is like an early sign of dementia. Holistic! Like, that's the word I'm thinking uh, of. Holistic. Oh my god, yeah. Literally holistic, yeah. Those who practice it claim that it is a holistic system of medicine based on the theory of healing. Theory of treating like with like. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's crazy. <laughs> Just think like of jelly juice. And lighten. Jelly juice? Jelly juice. <laughs> jelly juice. What okay. is that? Okay, I'm pretty sure it was- What the fuck is this? It was like supposed is... to cure cancer or whatever. It was like a whole episode on TV. Um, obviously it's a hoax, but you know. I think Jelly Juice might be the number one pseudoscience. Oh, the- Yeah, I see a news article that says, Woman who claims cabbage juice cures autism and can regrow limbs to be probed by- Literally, <laughs> like what the hell? Um, yeah, I don't think that's how it works. I don't think... I I really don't think that's how it works. Okay. I wish my arm would regrow through the work of Jelly. I wish it's I was an axiotl, right? And I, I wish I could just cut off an arm and have it grow back. You're right. Yeah, me too. Let's see, let's, let's see what they put as the most harmful pseudoscience. Oh, uh, it yeah, says this too. question is subjective and depends on what you mean by harmful. Lion. It says, if you mean to ask which pseudoscience concept leads to the most bodily harmed humans, then the winner is vaccine denialism. Is that pseudoscience? I guess so. I feel like that's... I want to call... Uh... I think you just... 
I think they're just deniers. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying, right? I think it's more of the, the skepticism, of time. right? Yeah, you're it's not really not a pseudoscience. So. Yeah, but sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Why not? Okay, you're you're gonna pick the last one. Okay. One to ten. Let's go with a bad one. Let's go seven. <laughs> Ugh. <So. laughs> oh, we already did that one. Oh, okay. Well, you're lucky. Let's do nine. <laughs> no, no. You're already fit clean. My no one's bad. <laughs> How do carrots help you see in the dark, bro? Isn't this false? <laughs> yes, it's Isn't... false. Yes, it's false. A lot of these are false, of course. It's yeah. Just, it's like... Woo! <laughs> That's I how you can see in the dark. That's how you can see in the dark. That's how you can see in the dark. Yeah, it's not false. Yeah, that's it not doesn't true. really help you. Like all all carrots do is maintain your regular eyesight, don't they? Yeah. It's not like it just magically gives you night vision. <laughs> like imagine that. I think we're mainly health gurus. I you know yeah. I think I think we are health gurus. You're right. I think we are health gurus. Yeah. We're, we're so health gurus. And look, we caught so much fish, so much, uh, good, good fats, and... And I caught oil. Oil? <laughs> like, everyone loves uh, oil, so... America does, and that means we're relevant too. Exactly. Freedom, right? Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> this is freedom. <laughs>